Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ditsy Clary and I stream Sims on Twitch and I've wanted to start filming some builds to share on YouTube. If you've joined me before you'll know that I'm absolutely snowball crazy so when the new snowy escape pack was announced I could not wait to see what the world would give us. In this video today I'm going to be building an apres ski bar slash restaurant uh, inspired by a number of my favourite places to eat in my usual resort in Europe. I really wanted to make use of the new platforms we got in the update the same week as the new expansion pack. You see it's actually quite faffy and I have to redo a lot of the work that I do to get it right. Trying to add the platform round the outside of this building was so frustrating. I think I did it about five times and in the end we finally worked it out. But also you can see it keeps jumping up like different levels as you manipulate it. I think in the end it just ended up staying at that two level. The roof was an interesting challenge that I set for myself with this build. I wanted it to do a bit jaunty, a little bit unusual, um, so I played around with using different pitches. I ended up leaving the roof for a bit later because I got really annoyed with it. I couldn't get them to line up properly, but you'll see I'll come back to it a bit later um, and it will all come together at the end. to make sure that I added lights as soon as we were on the inside of the build because when I'm streaming my community always tell me off that they can't see anything while I'm trying to build because I always forget to put the lights in. I wanted to have the stone tile that I did previously on another build but I just could not remember which one it was but I eventually just gave in and went with whatever I found. Honestly, this build for me was so much fun to make. Doing it all from memory and taking inspiration from a number of different buildings to make it my own apres ski bar was just really lovely. A razor platform on the bay window was actually inspired by a tiny hut right on top of the mountain where we usually go. They have about six tables inside, but they cram in so many people. We all end up sitting on different people's tables and it just feels like one great big party every time you go in there. And the chicken soup is so good. The owners have told us before that they take up the supplies every morning on the gondola and when it's time to go home they ski down in the dark with head torches on. One of the details that I noticed while building this in the new world was the windows and the doors. They had snow and were all frosted over until um, we put the roof and the porch on top. And you can also see here that the fences around the deck are also really snowy. I just love that detail so much. It really gives it that realism for me. For me, the deck is such an important feature of these Apres ski bars. You've just come off the mountain, you're tired from an amazing day, hopefully you didn't spend too much of it sat down in the snow, uh, coming off of the slope for the last time each day and sitting outside to enjoy the sunset with a mulled wine or a cold beer, sat in your snow jacket is just so amazing. I tried to use as many of the new items from the snowy escape pack just to really test how my snowy reality matches up to the snowy escape pack and I'm really impressed. 
I'm sure that most of you who are in the ski or snowboard world, you'll know that there's this classic friendly rivalry between the two sports. And seeing all the artwork and the decorations and the items that we've been given in this pack, it's really lovely to see that both sports are so equally and fairly represented. I wanted to put some medals up on the wall here. A lot of the restaurant owners in the resort that we go to are ex-ski athletes and they normally have loads of medals and certificates on the walls and then also they're always playing like 1980s ski sports on the TVs as well which is always hilarious. And if you go to the same restaurant in two nights in a row you're just watching the same ski competition over and over again and it's hilarious but they love it and that's great it's just so quaint and authentic and just brilliant i didn't want to put loads of plants in because we're on top of a mountain here it's not tropical plants aren't going to get as much love and care as in a residential home um but this one just sort of fit the space and I liked it so we got that one. Obviously I've never really been in a resort restaurant kitchen so I just took some took some liberties and used my imagination from when I previously worked in hotels to create a kind of sterile looking place but we don't really have any counters or anything that's metal or at least I don't in my packs so I've tried to go for something plain and end up sort of changing this kitchen foundation basement room around quite a lot to make it work and make it fit. I really liked using the space underneath the stairs as well. I thought that was quite like a kooky but definitely something that somebody would do idea. Just like use that space, try and be as space conscious as you would be if you had built your own restaurant on the side of a mountain. You would try and use as much space as you could. I really love using double cookers in pretty much all of my bills at the moment. I just, I think it just looks really, it's probably really bougie, but I like having double ovens. It looks a little bit more commercial for me and it just uses up more space as well. And I hate having a, like a galley kitchen that's only three cells wide and just having the cooker at the end. Having a double cooker makes it a lot wider, makes it look a bit better. And I mean, they probably would have like a 
massive double oven in a commercial kitchen, so it kind of works. These new counters from Snowy Escapes are really exciting because you probably already know all of the shelves on the inside are actually, um, you can use them as shelves, the items snap to them. So that was really fun when I got to, um, in the debug, <laughs> place all of like the macaroni, put all the cans of drink in there. <laughs> They're supposed to be medicines, but it doesn't matter. Um, I really enjoyed pl placing all those things and just that, that extra level of detail just really did it for me. I ended up adding quite a lot of seating to the outside area. As I said earlier, the seating outside is actually really important for me anyway when I go snowboarding because when you're still really warm, you've just come off the mountain, sitting outside with a cold beer is perfection. So having seating outside is actually really authentic for that reason, but also in the summer when mountain bikers or hikers are there, obviously people want to enjoy the sunshine when it's summertime. Generally, everybody also cooks on a barbecue, whether it's an open fire on the inside, or you have a barbecue running on the outside as well. So I wanted to use the new uh, barbecue that we got with the update. And I'm going to try and fix the roof. I take forever to do the roof because it just doesn't line up. And I tried to practice this roofing before hitting record. I don't know how I did it the first time. I cannot get it to work this time around. In the end, I think I just, it just like kind of nearly works. And then it doesn't because the snow grading looks all weird where the two different roofs overlap. It was a, an interesting challenge. I enjoyed doing it, but <laughs> the end product is definitely better with how like deleting the middle roof and just trying to join the two pieces together. It looks so much better.
There we go, it's finally finished. Really pleased with the way this turned out. Having the snowboards on the outside with the racks and storage, it's just, I'm honestly so impressed with this snow escape pack. The realism, the snowboards, the skis, and even, do you see there the footprints in the snow? It's, it's perfect, everything about it, I love it. Even the outfits, in fact, I think I even have most of the outfits that they gave us in the new pack. This is just an inside view. You can see all the Sims are using the chairs. They've gone and got a drink. It's really interesting to see them use the platforms, actually. You'll see that it worked perfectly, but it's really good to see them walking up and down the levels as if they're steps. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. It's my first ever one, so please be kind. Um, I'd really appreciate you sharing it, liking it, subscribing if you like. Um, and you can always catch me live on Twitch. I stream on Mondays and Thursdays and Saturdays for Sims. I also stream Stardew Valley on Tuesdays. I hope to see you soon and thank you very much. Bye!